difference. This guy here is John Jay. He's the first Chief Justice of the United States Supreme Court. He's also one of the authors of the Federalist Papers. So as you begin to study the Constitution, the Federalist Papers are a great instruction manual, if you will. It's a great way to be able to go in and say, well, what do they really mean by this phrase or that phrase? Federalist Papers help us understand that. Here's one of the three guys that gave it to us. But he also challenged us to study this thing. He said, every member of the state ought diligently to read and to study. So the bumper sticker says, bumper sticker says read the Constitution. That's not enough. We've got to study the Constitution, which means we're going to look at those words and not say, well, what does that mean today? We have to study what did those words mean 200 years ago when they were put into the Constitution. So we've got to read and study, and then we've got to teach the rising generation to be free. We have to teach this next group of young people that's coming up how to be free, what does it mean to be free, what is freedom, how do you define freedom, and how do we make sure that their generation is going to enjoy it. He said, by knowing their rights, the sooner they will perceive when those rights have been violated, and the better prepared they will be to defend and assert them. That's our job. So every one of us, every single member of the state, so that's every citizen, you don't have to be a teacher, a preacher, or whatever, you, you, you're a citizen, you fall into this category. So every single one of us need to read and study the Constitution. We need to teach the next generation how to do this. And then by knowing our rights, by having this intellectual ammunition, we'll know when they will perceive when those rights are being violated, which I think we're all perceiving right now as we look into the culture, but then we'll also know how to properly, constitutionally, peaceably defend and assert them. You see, we have all the tools we need at our fingertips right now to be able to peaceably influence our nation. We can have a revolution with ballots, not with bullets, with ballots. We can actually work the system. The system works if we're willing to get engaged, if we're willing to work smart in this system. We can have a great influence. In fact,